Families in Northeast Denver celebrating the return of a comprehensive high school with the reopening of Montbello High. Yeah, the controversial vote to close Montbello more than a decade ago was meant to usher in higher performing schools. Well, the school is located north of I-70 and west of Pena Boulevard. Justin Adams, a Montbello alum himself, reports on what back to school means for that community. For us as a community, we felt our school was taken from us. Montbello alum and my old neighbor Brian Sanders has watched and waited for this day. His son Sean will enter as a freshman at the newly reimagined Montbello High School. I graduated as a warrior. Now my son gets graduated as a warrior. So to be able to have this opportunity for my son to be a freshman here with the um, incoming class uh, just, is truly a blessing for us. This is Montbello's first freshman class since the school board voted in 2010 to close the school in an effort to improve academic options. The announcement was met with protest. The class of 2011's Jessica Escalante loved her Montbello experience, but even as a teenager thought, the school was left behind by the broader community. It was really hard. We had about five principals throughout my four year high school experience, and that alone already made us feel like the, like no one cared about about our school. Escalante wants nothing more than to see her neighborhood high school succeed this time and yet. I'm really scared uh, for the fact that they're opening it all together all four years instead of gradually and I think that will not bring as much attention to each individual student at the end and get them college ready. Principal Nisa Lynch sees it differently. Let's bring 9th through 12th grade. We can bring everybody together, build the culture, unify everyone. Lynch expects 11 to 1,200 students, and after extensive surveying of what families want, it's confident Montbello will deliver on academics and individualized focus. We've been overwhelmed with the community wanting to come in and say, how can we help? What can we do to help build our new school hub? The reconstruction of Montbello High School will come in two phases. The first one is to renovate the classrooms on the lower level of the school so that students can stay in school while renovation is taking place. The second one will be the overall construction of the new high school, which is set to be completed by the fall of 2024. What most excites me about going to Montbello High School is following my father's footsteps in baseball. While it's baseball for the Sanders men, it was football for me. There was never a better feeling of scoring a touchdown for the Warriors in 2003. On Warriors pride, I think Brian put it best. For us to have our school back in the center of our community, it's just absolutely everything. Justin Adams, covering Colorado First. Just looks amazing. Well, freshmen start Friday, 10th through 12th graders start September 6th.